welcome 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 good night as you join go ahead and share welcome 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 good night welcome go ahead and share as you join welcome may the lord bless you here tonight glory to god Welcome. May the Lord do you good. The word of God remind us. It says weeping endure for a night. But joy is coming in the morning yes weeping endure for a night <laughs> but joy is coming in the morning go ahead and share this message as you join mm -hmm. Go ahead and share. What a mighty God we serve. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Friday night. You could have been watching something on TV. You could have been doing other things. So while you are here, welcome. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. May the Lord open doors for you. As the Bible reminds us, we are in the last days. And in the last days, all men will dream dreams. Young men will prophesy. Amen. We are in the last days and things are happening. Glory to God. So when your children begin to prophesy to you, remember we are in the last days. Amen. Welcome. Go ahead and share. Sometimes your, your children will say things to you that will make you wonder. Yeah. Your, your children will say things to you that will make you look back. Sometimes it will click. Amen? Mm-hmm. Sometimes it will click and it makes you wonder, what did this child just say to me? We are in the last days. And so in the last days, it's expected that the young children will speak the 
oracle of God. I encourage you to share this message. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You know, <laughs> I I stumble up <laughs> I stumble upon something earlier. I was trying to go live and I stumbled upon something and there was a man saying that um he was prophesying into the month of November that you're gonna have a lot of money, you're gonna have car. And I just smile because November is done. I didn't see that message in the month of November. I just see it. And so, you know, it was my prayer that those who receive that message in their spirit were able to manifest the prophecy. That's all I'm saying. Amen. Glory to God. Welcome and good night. Whatever is about to happen here tonight, may it bless you. Whatever word is about to be released in the atmosphere tonight, may the Lord use it to bless you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. You know, I'm humbled because we are in, today is the first day of December. And it is my prayer that the bills that you accumulate through the year, may the Lord bless you to pay them off. Let me say this again. Today is the first day of November. The people that you hurt, may the Lord give you strength. Yes ask for forgiveness of your sins today is the first day of December the first day of the last month of the year it is my prayer that the scriptures begin to manifest in your life oh Jesus Today, it's very cold outside. It's raining hard here. And I'm thankful to God for the rain. Yes. It's better than the dry Arctic air. So we give God thanks and praise because we are getting some rain. We thank God for the rain. There are some people wish there were it was raining where they are. It's cold here, and we are complaining that it's cold. But there are some people who desire this type of temperature. Amen? So let us just open our mouth and give thanks to God because he's good. The Bible said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord because he's good. If you don't have everything you need... Thank God. If you have everything you need, thank God. There are some people that have nothing at all. While there are some people that have everything, but they are miserable. They are hopeless. They have everything in this life, but they are miserable. They have everything in this life, but they are sick. Some people have all the money in the world, but they cannot spend it. So you who are in wants and needs, look to God. The Bible reminds us that God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. And I'm sitting here reading the Bible. And it tells me that according to... 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7, it says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. We walk by faith.
faith and not by what we can see. We are walking blind. We're not relying on our eyesight. We are relying on the Lord to lead us. So we are walking by faith. Meaning, you might not even know where you're going. But God will take you to the place that he wants you to be. In this hour, I want you to join me in prayer. Amen. Right now, I want you to join me in prayer. Because God wants us to pray. It's the ill, the first of the 12th month of the year. It's the last month of the year. And um, some of us not even give God thanks to take us this far. While a lot of people died. Some people die from COVID. Some people die from bad mind. <laughs> yes. Some people died from jealousy. Uh-huh. Some people died from envy. Some people died from sickness of the mind. Not just sickness in the body. Sickness of the mind. And I want you to understand. God is waiting for us to pray. So open your mouth and just thank God. You, 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 you lived 11 months out of the year. And you have entered into month number 12. Let, let us just thank God for taking us this far. You see, we should have been in church. But based on the season that we are in. Yes. The weather does not permit from where I am. So, a lot of people are in their bed right now. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us thank God. We make it to the month number 12. Father, we thank you that we are able to celebrate life while we are still alive. We thank you for the gift of life. Some people are plugged into life support machine right now. But we are strong. We are able to walk around. We are grateful that our legs are working. We are grateful that we are in our right mind. Lord, we are thankful. We are not laying down and somebody's cleaning us up. Oh God, we thank you that we are able to do things on our own. And we ask you, Lord God, that anyone that is watching us tonight from prison, we are asking you to release them. Anyone that is watching from hospital bed, oh God, tonight we are asking you to heal them. Jesus. Anyone that is watching tonight because they are at work and they cannot go to church and do anything. Lord, we are asking you to bless them with a better job. Not just a job where they can get money, but a job where they can serve you at the same time. That they can get time off to go to church, to worship you. That they can get to go and be a blessing to someone else. That they can get to release their anointing upon somebody else. They can transfer blessing by the laying on of hands in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They can raise hands and declare healing. Lord, I ask you tonight that those people that are trapped at work and are not able to come and join us in church, mighty God, we ask you to open doors for them that they can come out mighty God and do your work while it's still daytime in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father we thank you for those who are at home right now and are able to get some rest. 
Thank you, Jesus, for rest. The Bible tells us that you gave Solomon rest. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We adore you. There are people that are miserable. They are in trouble. They don't have no peace. It doesn't matter where they go, oh God. The problem's still happening. So Lord, we're asking you to intervene in their miserable life. There are some people, oh God, doesn't matter what they have. It doesn't matter where they go. They cannot be happy. Lord, we're asking you to give them peace. Give them peace that pass all understanding. Open their eyes, Lord God, to the things that you want them to see in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, tonight I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ, the people from El Shaddai that are in bondage, I ask you to release them. Let your will be done in their life, O oh God, according to your word. Those that are in bondage, those that are in captivity, mighty God, those that are struggling with unforgiveness, my God, I ask you tonight to help them that they can forgive in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that need to ask for forgiveness, my God, I pray tonight that they will come to you on bending knees, oh God, when sorrow rise and talk to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you for your goodness and your mercies, Lord. We thank you for what you are doing in our midst. We thank you, Jesus, that we have you, Lord. We thank you, my God, that we are able to forgive the people that hurt us, the people that are driving us crazy. We are thankful that we are able to forgive so we can be free. Lord, we thank you for testimonies. We thank you, mighty God. We have made it to the final month of the year. And some of us testify. And those that have not testified, Lord, I ask you to bless them that they can share their testimony and shame the devil. Your word said we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So, Lord God, we thank you for testimony in the church. We thank you for testimony online. We thank you for testimony wherever we go in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask you to release your people out of bondage that they can testify. Release them that they can testify of your goodness. Release them that they can testify because you have set them free. Release them, O oh God, so they can testify. Now they know the word of God. Now they know how to walk in truth. Release your people, Lord God, so they can stop stealing. Release your people, O oh God, so they can stop lying. Release your people, Ababoko Roboko Sataya, that they can stop being jealous. Release your people, O oh God, that they can stop being hateful. Release your people, O oh God, that they can afford, mighty God, to live a clean life. Release them, O oh God, out of bondage. Release them that they stop stealing petty stuff, lying about petty stuff, bragging for no reason, walking around with the spirit of pride, walking around puffed up. Lord, we thank you. We made it to the month number 12, but we are asking you, Lord God, for a release. A release. We ask your daddy for a release. We're asking for a release. A release in the ministry. A release in their home. Oh God, we ask you tonight. Many of them are single and they are burning with the desires of the flesh. And the word of God remind us that it's better to marry than to burn. And tonight, oh God, those who are burning with the flesh mighty god i ask you to release them so they can get married in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we thank you for the things that you are doing in our midst we thank you jesus that you are opening doors that you are releasing the captives in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. 
we have made it to month number 12 and not one of us became homeless oh god i ask you in the name of jesus to bless your people settle them those that are not comfortable i ask you tonight to settle them mighty god settle your people give them a place of rest settle them somebody go ahead and share this message lord we ask you to settle your people we ask you to bless them with homes we ask you mighty god to give them you said you have enough according to the riches in glory you said in your father's house there are many mansions and if it was not so you would have never said it and tonight daddy jesus we're asking you to open doors for those people that don't have a decent home many of your people oh god they are not content they are not comfortable and they are believers that believe on you and tonight lord god we are asking you to bless them with homes open doors lord god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth let your will be done we come against every mental issue those that are struggling with their me oh God, Jesus. Those that are struggling with mental issues, and because it's not severe, they don't need medication. Tonight, Daddy Jesus, we are asking you to intervene. Hallelujah. Tonight, we ask you, oh God, to intervene. Intervene, Lord God. Tonight, we ask you to intervene. Intervene, Lord. Every mild mental illness. Tonight, oh God, we are asking you to intervene. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on. Come on. Come on, Holy Spirit, take over. Come on. Come on. Come on, Holy Spirit, take charge. And let your will be done. Hallelujah. My God, you said we should walk by faith and not by sight. So, Lord, we are believing you for healing. Those who are mentally unstable, we are believing you for healing. There are a lot of mental, mental illnesses in the church. The behavior of the people, oh God, we know. So, we are asking you to fix them in order. Let your will be done. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are asking the Lord God to touch the minds of the children. My God, we ask you to open your minds. The Bible reminds us that in the last days they will prophesy our sons and our daughters. So tonight we ask you, Lord God, to open the minds of our children that they can prophesy, that they can speak life over the things that are dead and it come to life in the name of Jesus. Tonight we ask you, Lord God, to open the minds of our children that they could call out for dry bones. They could go to the valley of... Mm, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight, Lord God, we ask you to touch our children that they can call for Lazarus. That they can call for Lazarus. Tonight, Daddy, we ask you to touch our children that they can speak life into every Lazarus in Jesus name tonight oh God we call forth the Holy Spirit to touch our children that they can declare a thing that it will be established in the name of Jesus Christ tonight Lord God we are calling it out as the word declare that in the last days our sons and our daughters will prophesy. It means that our sons and our daughters will speak great things. And tonight we call forth the prophetic over our children. In the name of Jesus Christ, we call for the prophetic over our children. Open their lives. 
that they might say, Thus said the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tonight we call it forth and we call it done. Tonight we call for that our children will be greater than us. Tonight, Lord God, we speak life and speed and acceleration into our children that they will do great things. They will do great and mighty things in the name of Jesus. Tonight we call it for it. It's not too late to declare a thing over your child. It's not too late. To declare it and it shall be established. It's not too late. To speak life. It's not too late to release those children. That are in chains and bonds. Many times we look at our children and we know. That this is not where they are supposed to be. And this is not what God said about them. So tonight we speak life into every dead situation that our children are facing. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tonight we declare that any one of our children are in bondage. That they will arise and come out of it. They will come out of the fire like the Hebrew boys. They will come out of the lions then like Daniel. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will go through the water and nothing will happen to them. They will cross over on dry land. Mighty God, tonight we declare it. That they will cross over on dry land. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible promises us that when we go through the fire, it will not burn us. God already did it. The Hebrew boys were in the fire and nothing happened to them. So tonight we declare that our children will come out of the fire without even the smell of smoke. My God, my God, my God. Ah, Jesus, tonight we declare that our children, one more time, will come out of the fire without a smell of smoke. And if you are an adult and you are in the fire tonight, we pull you out of the fire. Any fire that they place you in, we pull you out of it in the name of Jesus Christ. We pull you obo kosata. We pull you out of the fire. I want you to open your mouth tonight and begin to pray because we are moving by faith. We are not moving by what we see. We are not moving by what we hear. We are moving by the word of God. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I encourage you to pray. I encourage you to pray. Allow the Spirit of the Lord to speak to you tonight. Open your mouth and pray. It's Friday night. A lot of people are off from work and they are on their way to go and get their palm read. They are on their way to go and stop somebody's child from being successful. Some people are saving their hard-earned money and they are on their way tonight to go see that witch, that woman, that wizard. Some people are on their way tonight to go and destroy somebody's marriage. Some people are on their way tonight to go to a hotel to destroy themselves. So open your mouth and thank God for where you are. Open your mouth and thank God for where you are. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God. May the Lord have mercy. I want you to open your mouth and declare mercy. Oh God, have mercy upon me tonight. Oh God, have mercy upon me tonight. You see, sometimes when you are opening your mouth to talk to God, you might not be in the situation, but tomorrow you will know why you were here praying tonight. I'm here to let you know by the morning come, you will know why you were praying certain prayer. Open your mouth and declare, in this month of December, anything that belongs to me, I'm getting it. Many of you, you work hard all year, and you have lost more. And what you make.
But tonight we make declarations. My God. To, mm, hmm. Hmm. Joseph told his brothers. He said, you make, you, you make plans to kill me. But God have a different plan to save me. You intend evil for me, but God meant good for me. Tonight, I encourage you to open your mouth and pray. It is almost the end of the year. We are in the last month. Don't hesitate to pray. The devil is on a mission to rob, to kill, and to destroy. Hallelujah. <laughs> the devil is abakoroboko satire. The devil is on a mission to rob, to kill. He's not laughing with you. It doesn't matter how you look. The devil is not into any conversation. So we are going to pray. Hallelujah. We thank him for being our God. Oh Lord, tonight we thank you for being our God. We make you satire. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for being our... You know, Satan... And his agent always mop up, ramp up, and double up their effort to wreck you. To cause problem at the end of every year. Satan. Satan and his agent, they always mop up, ramp up, rev up, and double up the effort to destroy you and your family every year. Every year at the end of the year, this is why you can get so much sad news. But tonight, I am here to let you know, this is the reason why crime rate, death rate, accident rate, and all kind of evil always increase at the end of the year. Because the devil is on a mission to ramp up, to mop up, and to double up their efforts. So you have to stay prayed up. You, uh, my father, my father, I thank you for how you have been my God. I thank you that how you have been standing up with me and help me to fight the battles. You see, the battle is not always to fight. All we have to do is pray. And God gave us strength to pray. And he will do the rest. So let us thank God. Jesus. Oh God, tonight we ask you to arise and scatter. Scatter the camp of our enemies by your fire. I want you to pray, people of God. Oh God, arise. Arise and scatter the camp of my enemies. By the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. So many of you. Your enemies are the people that are closest to you. And so you don't even know how to pray. Because you don't think nothing is wrong. Until you find out the truth. The people that are fighting you are right next to you. Yes. So tonight we pray. And ask God to arise and scatter. The camp. Of our enemies. In the name of Jesus. Scatter them. So they cannot encamp around us. Tonight we ask God to scatter them. By fire. It's past ten. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. And I'm home. And tonight we will pray. And ask God Almighty to arise and scatter the camp of our enemies by the blood of Jesus Christ. Scatter them now. It's time to declare it in the atmosphere. The Bible reminds us to declare a thing and it shall be established. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me tell you something. You'll be surprised to know that your enemies are still speaking. So tonight we're asked God. Oh God. Arise. 
arise and let our enemies, let not our enemies overpower us. Oh God, tonight we ask you to arise and let not our enemies overpower us. Jesus. Open them out and pray, people of God. Oh God, arise. And let not our enemies overpower us. Arise. Arise, oh God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Arise and let not our enemy overpower me. Overpower you. Tonight we ask you, Yeshua, Amashi, arise. El Shaddai, arise. Jehovah Rapha, arise. Jehovah Nisi, arise. Come on, arise. Arise. And let not our enemies overpower us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, arise. Arise. I want you to open your mouth and ask God to arise and let not your enemy. You see, tomorrow morning you will know the strength of your prayers. It might sound funny now. What is she saying? I'm not saying that. But tonight we ask God to arise and let not those who are fighting against us to overpower us. Oh God, arise. Arise and let not our enemies. You'll be so surprised to know that your enemy is this close to you. Oh God, my father, my father, arise and let not my enemy overpower me in the name of Jesus Christ. Arise. Some of you, you, you can't even pray. You don't have any strength to pray. It's time to open your mouth. If you can't say it loud, whisper, oh Lord, arise and let not my enemy have victory over me. Let not my enemy have any power over me. Arise and let not my enemy be korobukusaya. Hallelujah. So I'm telling you, many of your enemies are speaking. But tonight, we are going to pray. My father, my father, father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we ask you tonight to silence every one of our enemies. Silence them. Shut the job one. Shut, broke the job. Shut up the jawbone of our enemies. Lock door. You see, we are going to the end. We are going to the end of the year. And we have to pray. Like it or not. Like it or not. Your prayer can stop accident. Your prayer can stop sickness. Your prayers can stop premature death. Your prayers can prevent you from losing your job. Your prayers can prevent your children from dying prematurely. It's time to open your mouth and pray. Your prayer can enter heaven and bring miracle to your life. Tonight, we're asking God, Oh God, arise. And silence our enemies in the name of Jesus. Sometimes some people talk too much. Some people have incriminating evidence over you. And they are talking. So sometimes we have to silence them. Shut them down. Silence your enemies in the realms of the spirit. This is what you do when you pray. Whatever you say in prayer, it's spiritual. Jesus said in the book of Matthew, whatever you bind on earth, 
it's already bound in heaven. So whatever you're loose and hurt, it's already loose in heaven. So tonight, we loose doors to be open. We release those doors. We release, we release those doors. We release those doors. We release those doors in Jesus' name. Yes. Release those doors. Release those doors. Tonight we release. We declare that these doors will be open. Many of you have been waiting for doors to be open from January 1st. And today is December 1st. So you have been waiting 11 months and a day for some doors to open. And tonight we declare that your doors will be open. We declare it. You see, sometimes an open door could be losing something. Because you have to lose to win. So sometimes God opens a door, but it's a closed door for somebody else. When the door is open for you, it's closing in somebody else's face. Hello? Ah. When the door is open for you, whoever is behind the door, it's closed in their face. Jesus. Tonight, we silence every voice of the enemy speaking against our destiny. I want you to open your mouth and pray this prayer. My Father, my Father. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask you, O oh God, to silence every enemy that is speaking against my progress, against my ministry, against my finances, against my health, against my marriage, against my children, in the name of In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to open your mouth and pray this prayer. Those that are speaking, you see, people will always try to speak against you. If they are not fighting against you, it means that nothing is happening for you. If people are not bad mouthing you, if people are not talking against you, if people are not fighting you, you're not going anywhere. But tonight we silence our enemies. We shut them down. Those that are speaking against your destiny, against your progress, they are called enemies of progress. My God, tonight we are sabakoroboko saya. Open your mouth and pray. Many of you would not come to church if I was in church tonight. So take this opportunity and pray. You, you, your excuse, you have to work, you live far, the weather is cold, people complain about small stuff, yet they want prayer. So I encourage you to city, korobuko, saya, open your mouth and pray. Ramba kashataya, open your mouth and pray. Those that are speaking against your destiny, those that are speaking against your blessing, those that are speaking against the way you look, those that are speaking against the way you, you, you set up yourself. The, yes, every evil eye, oh Jesus, thank you Holy Ghost, every evil eye that is coming after you tonight, we shut them down by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every evil eye that was assigned to stop you, to monitor you tonight. We destroy them by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every monitoring spirit. Every monitoring spirit tonight. You better pray. You better pray. It is the beginning of the new month. You better pray. Every monitoring spirit that is monitoring your progress, that is monitoring your children's progress, tonight we stop them. By the blood of Jesus Christ. You better pray. You better pray. Every evil eye. That is watching you in your sleep. 
that is watching you on your way out your house, that is monitoring you on your way back in tonight, we stop them. We arrest them. We cast them down according to the word of God. We cast them down and we trample upon them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every monetary spirit, we smite them. We smash them. We crush them. We destroy them by your blood. Somebody will say, we annihilate them in the name of Jesus Christ. We fix their business with the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Invite somebody to come and, and yes, invite someone to come and pray with you. Hallelujah. My God. Jesus. Habaroko Sato. Jesus. Habandara da kasaya. Mm, Jesus. Glory to God. Invite someone to come and pray. We have to pray. Open your mouth and pray. I see. Oh, Jesus. In the realms of the spirit I see. A young lady, she's laying on her back in her bed. But the bed is not a king-size bed. It's not a queen-size bed. It's a small bed. And she can hardly pray. You're watching. I want to say this. Ask God to help you. Just open your mouth and say, Oh Lord, help me. Oh Lord, forgive me open him out and say it. there's a young woman watching she's laying down on a bed it's a small bed it's not a big bed it's a small bed you're helpless you're weak but tonight i declare your strength in the name of jesus i want you to get up out of that bed and sit up and ask god to help you ask god to help you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You see, let me share something with you. It's an attack. You are laying down in a bed. But the back of Robo Kusata, Jesus. The bed. <laughs> the mattress on the bed. It, it's... <laughs> You are laying down in that. It's not even a clean place. It's not even a clean place. Back in the days, they would call it a three-quarter bed. But nowadays, they call them full-size bed or double bed. Mm -hmm. You have double bed, full-size bed, queen bed, king bed. It's a small bed. And you're laying in the bed. It's not a clean place. But tonight I declare over your life that you will rise up out of that mess, out of that slum that the enemy hold you down in, in the name of Jesus. Come out of it. Right now I declare, right now that you will rise up out of this mess that you are laying in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. I want you to open your mouth, people of God, and pray this prayer. Oh God, grant me victory. Oh God, tonight I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ to grant me victory. I decree and declare right now, I declare victory. By your blood. By your blood, I declare victory right now. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Mankarabuku saya. Victory, victory, declare victory over every battle that you're facing. Victory over every situation. Declare victory, even unmerited favor that you don't deserve tonight. We declare it, we decree, we declare unmerited favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, woman of God. Single bed. The smallest bed you can ever think of. The ones that you put kids on. It's a little bit bigger than a crib. <laughs> yes hallelujah 
declare over your life victory. Jesus. Victory. Declare victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory over every battle that you're facing. Declare it tonight. Father, we decree and we declare victory over our situation, over everything that is happening around us. Every victory. We decree and we declare victory tonight over every spiritual battle, every battle we are facing, every even our physical battles. We declare this hour that we shall have victory. In Jesus' mighty name victory we declare it we make a declaration that we will have victory my god jesus in jesus name you see the 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 plan of the enemy is to see your end but tonight we're going to pray that we will see the end of our enemies. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The plan of the enemy is to see your end. But tonight I declare they will never come to your funeral. Because you will see their end. And, I, and we're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God. Allow me to see the end of my enemies. Allow me to see their end in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, tonight we come before you and we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ to allow us to see the end of our so-called enemies. Those who have conspired against us, those who have fought against us, those who are coming after us, allow us to see their end in Jesus' name. The Bible tells us that we will see mighty God, the reward of the wicked. The Bible tell us that we will see them. The Bible remind us, my God, that a thousand shall fall by this side and ten thousand by this side, but they shall not come near us. We will, with our eyes, we shall see them. So tonight we declare that we will see the end of our enemies, the end of the wicked one. Mighty God. Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Tonight we decree and we declare that we will see the end of those who have been fighting against us. We will see, yes, we are at the end of the year and we will see the end. They will never see our end. We will see the end. Of our enemies the end the end is the way they turn out their final days the end we will live to see minister Jolene open them out and declare you will live to see the end of your enemies your children will live to see the end of them Makashata. Jesus you will live to see the end of your enemies my brother Wilfred, open them out and declare it. You will live to see the end. There are some people that work against you and they are still in your face. They are still rubbing shoulders. Mighty God, many of us will not even believe those who are fighting against us. But tonight we pray that we will live to see the end. We will live to see the end of our enemies. Sister Nikki, Sister Nikki Z, we will live to see the end of our enemies. Sister Beverly Campbell. Sister Shereen. We will live to see the end of our enemies. Those who have been secretly tearing us apart. Sister Patricia. Those who have been, those who have been secretly fighting us. Sister Claudette. We will live to see the end of our enemies. Tonight we decree and we declare it done by the blood of Jesus Christ. They'll never escape it. We will live to see the end. Nayla, pray. 
open your mouth and pray, declare it done. You will live to see the end of those who have set themselves against you, those who have set up other people against you, those who have tried to hold you in bandage. Tobacco boy, tonight. We pray that you will live to see, Sister Valden, you will live to see the end. And I hear the Lord said it already started. We live to see the end of those who have been fighting against us. God will allow it. Tonight we ask God to show us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To open our spiritual eyes. To see the end of our enemies. Let them regret coming after us. Let them regret ever coming after us. Oh God, tonight we ask you, open our eyes and let us live to see the end of our enemies. Let them live to regret fighting against us. Let them confess on their dying bed. The Bible tells us that when a man weighs, please God, even his enemies will be at peace with him. But tonight we ask God to let us live to see the end of those who have been secretly fighting us. In Jesus' name. When you are praying, you are for your prayer. It's not friendship. You're not supposed to look cute. It's not the way you look. It's what's coming out of your mouth. Sister Amy, open your mouth and pray that you will live to see the end of your enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth because of what people have done to some of us. We can't even pray. We shame. Many of us are not even strong enough to go on social media to pray because of what people did to us. But I declare tonight, you will live to see the end of those who have set themselves against you. Open your mouth, declare it done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and pray, my brothers and my sisters. The devil is always a liar. The Bible tells us, prove God to be the truth and prove man to be a liar. Open the mouth and pray. You will live to see the end of your enemies. We're not laughing. We're not here to play. It's past 10.30. I'm not even supposed to be in my house talking like this because I'm not supposed to be in here talking loud. So if we're going to be online... Let us destroy some things in the spirit. Ask God to let you see the end of your enemies. When you get to see the end of your enemies, you can't be afraid of them. God give you power over them. Open them out and ask God to give you power over your enemy and you will live to see their end. Many of us are afraid of the people that set themselves against us. We should not be afraid. The Bible reminds us that the heart of a king lies in the hand of God. Therefore, I'm not afraid of what people will try to do to me because I know who I serve. I will live to see the end of my enemies. Sometimes God allows us to see some things and we didn't even know those were some of our enemies. My God. Those who are working against you secretly, God is about to expose them. You will live to see their end. You will live to see their last days. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. My God. It is well. You see, we need the power of the cross to make us victorious in Jesus' name. 
we need the power of the cross. It will make us victorious. So tonight we are going to pray. Oh God, let the power of the cross make me victorious in Jesus' name. You see the power of the cross because the blood of Jesus Christ run down on the cross. Let the power of the cross make you victorious. Oh God, tonight I come to you in prayer. I want you to declare this people of God. Oh God, tonight I come to you in prayer. Let the power of the cross make me victorious by the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the power from the cross that Jesus carried, that Jesus bear, make me victorious. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Declare the power of the cross will make you victorious. It will give you victory over your enemies so you will get to see their last days. We are in the end of the year and we need to finish strong. Hallelujah. We need to finish strong. And there are some people that are holding on to your blessing. There are some people holding on to your breakthrough. There are some people holding on to your promotion. There are some people holding on to your elevation. I want you to pray. This is not something that you come here just to be a spectator. Come and be a partaker and be blessed. You see, your enemies gather at night when you sleep, to fight you. So when you gather at night, cry out to Jesus. When you gather at night, gather in the name of Jesus Christ because your enemies are gathering at night with broom, with witches. Listen to me, there are some who have big job, but at night they become witch. Trying to fight you. Trying to steal your breakthrough. Trying to steal your destiny. Trying to destroy you. Manipulate you in the spirit. And this is why we have to be clean. So right now. By the blood of Jesus Christ. You have to pray people of God. By the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray that the power of the cross. Will make us victorious. In Jesus name. Your enemies gather at night. To finish you. So if you gather at night with us, you better pray. This is not for show. People don't look cute when they are praying. Because we are praying to God. We are praying to God. If I'm here at night, it's not to be friendly. It's to pray. To block some things in the spirit. So you better open your mouth and pray. Many of you are on social media looking for spouse. Search for Jesus. And he will give you a spouse. I'm telling you. Search for Jesus Christ. And he will fix you. He will prepare you for whatever you desire. He will perfect whatever concern your life. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you tonight. Glory to God. May the Lord open all your doors in Jesus' name. May the Lord stop your enemies in their tracks. May the Lord stop your enemies in their tracks and show you the end of your enemy. By the blood of Jesus Christ. My God. May the Lord stop your enemies in their tracks. In Jesus' name. May the Lord open big doors for you and your family because you came tonight to pray. May healing be your portion in this season. May healing be your portion in this season. Makoribiko sataya. You will listen tomorrow and see what happened. 
Because you came here to pray. Because you came here to pray. May the Lord answer your prayers. May the Lord answer your prayers. May the Lord answer, you see, concerning your covenant. Today, I was going over some stuff that I've, I've been preparing for Sunday. And what the Lord told me, we started last year, September. And it's supposed to go until February 2024 for the covenant seed. Hallelujah. I want you to pray over your covenant seed. Yes. So we will go another year with our covenant. So it's going to be from 2024 to 2025. Yes. We're supposed to end February 2024. We're going to go to February 2025. Whatever God said we will do. Many times God wants to see our faithfulness towards him. Amen. Hallelujah. Many times that's what God wants to see, our faithfulness towards him. And remember, our fasting begins on the 26th of December, which is the day after Christmas. And it will be for seven days. So New Year's Day, we're going to fast from the day after Christmas straight to New Year's Day. Some people will be fasting for the whole month. May the Lord have mercy upon us. Amen. Once again, my time is up. I have to go. Have yourself a wonderful night. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, Goodness and mercy shall follow us. <laughs> All the days of our life. And we shall dwell into the house of the Lord forever. Yeah, we will have a New Year's dinner. But it's going to be a little twist to it. It's going to be different. Amen. Glory to God. Have yourself a wonderful night. And we will see you, God's willing, we will see you tomorrow evening or tomorrow night. We are coming out to pray. We are close to the end of the year. We cannot be silent. We cannot be quiet. Our enemies are working overtime. So we have to pray. And some of you don't even want to read the Bible. But I want you to take this scripture tonight. It's from 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. For we walk by faith and not by sight. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Have a good night. I love you with the love of the Lord. Stay prayed up. Stay prayerful. Stay strong. We're going to finish this year strong. We're going to enter the new year even stronger. Amen. Yes. God bless you and good night.